quiet. You don't want to wake up your brother, do you? Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm covering your mouth again. Don't really know the parameters of this curse yet, so better safe than sorry. Come to think of it, though, you didn't even try to scream for help back at the theater. Sure, it would have been muffled, but you could have gotten lucky. Someone passing the door at just the right time, and bam, I'm interrupted mid-meal. Guess you could just be one of the quiet ones. I do get those sometimes. Anyone who tries to paint off humanity with the same brush as a fucking liar. Humans react to danger in different ways. Some of you just shut down. Stop being able to speak. I don't think that's really you, though. This is part of the curse, too, isn't it? You can't tell anyone about the curse. And you can't intentionally put anyone in a situation where they'll find out. That includes calling for help when you're about to get messily devoured. Makes sense. I know my first move if I couldn't tell anyone about this kind of thing would be inviting them over and jumping off the fucking roof. No way whoever crafted this thing wouldn't consider that. Did you just lick my hand? Ugh, what's the matter with you? Not uncovering your mouth just because you're acting like a child? That doesn't mean you should do it again. Fuck, you're being so gross right now. All right, that's it. I was going to chat a bit more before helping myself to a midnight snack, but you're forcing the issue. Chin up, babe. Hmm, that is such a good look on you. Throat bare, completely at my mercy. Plus, I get to really take my time with you tonight. I don't have to rush like last time. Mm, and you smell absolutely fucking decadent. Stronger in here, too. In your room, in your bed. Everything smells like you. I'm drowning in it. Oh, did you just flinch? Relax, babe. Not biting yet. I'm enjoying myself first. Uh, it takes so much self-control to do this. Not as much as kissing on the mouth, of course. The lips have some of the thinnest skin of the whole human body. You can practically taste the blood through them. And knowing all it would take is one tiny nick with your fangs. It's more than a lot of vampires can handle. The blood flows so much stronger here, though. There's a reason the neck is such a popular place to bite. Jugular, carotid, some clavian if you go down far enough. So many veins and arteries to choose from. I can feel them against my lips, against my tongue thrumming with your pulse. Can you feel that? Feel your heart in your throat? Ba bump, ba bump. Makes my teeth itch. All right. Brace yourself, babe. Or don't. Don't really care either way. <sighs> ah. No screaming, no cursing, no sounds of pain. Guess it really wasn't a fluke, then. You can't cry out, even involuntarily. That's gonna come in real handy. Ah, uh -uh. nope. Stay down. I'm not done yet. Why would I stop so soon? You've got plenty of blood left. You are a fucking masterpiece. I gotta figure out who cursed your ass and thank them. Yeah. 
Fuck. Oh, there it is. You're right on the edge. I could stop now and you'd live. You'd feel like shit in the morning, but you'd live. I think that might actually be crueler, forcing you to stumble through the day weak and dizzy, unable to tell anyone why or so. Hmm. Would you be able to tell anyone? If I bite you and don't kill you, that doesn't trip your curse. You might actually be able to tell people about me. Suppose I don't have much of a choice. Not that I was actually going to pass up draining you again, but still, that could have been bad. Ah, whatever. I can do some experimentation later. Preferably when your brother isn't two doors down if something goes wrong. Talk about a compromising position for him to walk in on, right? Relax, I'm teasing. I know this is about as sexy to you as getting hit by a car. Probably only a little less painful, too. Besides, you're not really my type. Blood type, hell yeah. But I've seen you dead on the floor of a broom closet. Hard to find a worse mood killer. Ah, <sighs> okay. I'm going to finish you off now. It's cute watching you struggle to breathe, but it's no fun if you actually pass out on me. Wonder how long you'll last this time. There it is, the cold embrace of death. Metaphorically, you're still pretty warm. Might stay that way for a while with all these blankets. And you're no less freaky to look at this time around, by the way. All slack-jawed and vacant. The bite's nice to look at, though. Kinda wish that could scar. Of course, that would give me away, too. So I guess I'll just have to keep opening you up if I want this view. You don't mind if I make myself comfortable, right? You're such a sweetheart. Literally. Bet your heart tastes fucking sweet. I'd be shocked if you'd never had something rip it out of your chest and eat it right in front of you. Wonder if you can hear me right now. Probably not, right? You're dead. It's probably like being asleep. Can't hear me or do much of anything except lie there. Which makes me wonder what it is that wakes you up, Sleeping Beauty. Is there a time limit? Do you spring back to life if some human stumbles upon your body? If your brother walked in right now, would you be breathing by the time you open the door? I've got a theory, you know, about why you were in that broom closet. That wasn't your first that night, was I? So convenient that you're already tucked away in a little hiding place. But that must have been the point. Some other monster did you in and hid the evidence. You came back, I sniffed you out, and the rest is history. You're lucky I'm not the jealous type, babe. Otherwise, I might be upset that you're getting devoured by other people. <laughs> Oh, I'm so lucky you're not alive to hear that joke. You'd kick me again for sure. Or throw a book at me, maybe. Don't see any nearby, though. I'll have to make sure I never mess with you in the library. Unless I feel like getting buried under a mountain of encyclopedias. Good thing you can't kill a vampire with a hardback edition. You know, I could stay here all night. Kind of want to. Smells great in here. Now I'm all warm and full. Oh, I just want to curl up and sleep you off. But I have to get back to your brother's room. He'll worry if he wakes up and sees I'm gone.
He's sweet like that. Hell, I don't need to tell you that. You know what he's like. Oh, 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 fuck, I'm tired. Too many day hangs with your brother. Maybe I should just commit to being diurnal at this point. The sun takes it out of me, but it's better than trying to pull a night and day shift. Besides, I've got a good, steady source of food now. Should help me keep my energy up. Good night. Hope whatever limbo you're drifting in is at least somewhat close to a sweet dream. <laughs> <laughs>